Take my headphones off. What is up, Wolfpack? It's your boy, Liam Lightwolf, back with another episode of Pokemon Scarlet, uh, Teal Mask DLC, casual playthrough. Um, while I am kind of looking at this mass outbreak of wild corefish, uh, if you're, if you're new to this series or to my channel in general, uh, welcome. And uh, if you're not new to this series, or if you're not new to this channel in general, welcome back. Um, uh, as we as we get into this, um, warnings uh, for this series, for this video, for my channel in general. Um, uh, flashing lights slash seizure warning, motion sickness warning. Um, Swearing, sex jokes, awkward, questionable, and or uncomfortable commentary. Um, uh, mixed in with uh, video game violence, animal violence, creature violence, etc. violence. But it's Pokemon, so most of the dark stuff is going to be in uh, the Pokedex entries and the story. Interesting, Volbeat is not a flying type. Did not... Did not know that. Um... Maybe I did, I don't know. Um... Uh... Oh yeah, um... The base game of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet deals with... Um... Loss of family members... Um... Bullying and ostracization... As well as dark jokes... And Pokemon on human violence... Um, and also Pokemon on Pokemon violence, but, d like, to a, in a different way than the games normally do. Um, and, uh, the Teal Mask DLC touches on themes of loss of life, well, loss of lives, um, uh, bullying, ostracization, xenophobia, alienation, um, Feelings of inadequacy slash depressive feelings uh, and themes, depression, and etc. Basically, other such things, so on and so forth. Something like that, anyway. Forgive me, God, in Jesus' name and amen. For any... For any inaccuracies or lies in Jesus' name and amen. Amen. Um... Um... Oh, and, uh, um, on top of all that, uh, you know, slash mixed in with all that, um, also, uh, M-rated, R-rated, immature, mature, rude, crude, etc., questionable, adult, noises, bodily noises, jokes, commentary, comedy, topics, themes, and etc. Um, and I may also be eating... Um, so I will try and, uh, or, and or drinking, so I'll try and be like, hey, um, heads up, I'm about to, you know, take a bite, I'm about to take a sip, or, you know, drinking warning, eating warning, something like that, noises warning. Also mouth noises, by the way. Um, uh, but, uh, about the time that I, uh, finish up, uh, you know, whatever I'm eating or drinking at the moment, um, I'll try and remember to wave a hand in front of the camera. That'll be the, like, the unmute signal if you, if you muted. But it'll, it tends to be more, like, uh, like, about here-ish. Like, I'm not done yet, but it's, it's about, about time to unmute. Um, oh yeah, and I also do, uh, voices and accents, and I may also sing, um, so if anything at any point offends, upsets, triggers, hurts your feelings, or is otherwise just something you're not, uh, recommended and or permitted to watch, for example, if you are photosensitive, 
or if you if either um, your parents um, your own rules and or your own beliefs uh, do not permit you to watch stuff with swearing, sex jokes, and other such adult content in it, please feel free to click away. This is uh, not a family-friendly YouTube channel. Um, don't worry about hurting my feelings, uh, or, you know, my, my watch time, or whatever. Um, make sure you look, just make sure you look after yourself, let your conscience be your guide, um, listen to your parents, and above all else, obey God. And help me to do the same, God, I pray. And help me not to lead others astray, or cause them to stumble, or cause them to do wrong, or cause them to fall off of the straight and narrow path. In Jesus' holy name I pray, and amen. Amen. And also, if I go quiet, like I just like I just was, um, I'm either praying, um, deep in prayer, lost in thought, thinking, overthinking, worrying, stressing, um, censoring myself, and or not comment, not and or not commenting on something, um, or like uh, mind going blank, can't think of what I'm trying to say, can't or, or just space out or whatever. Or some combination of those. Preferably not, you know, mind going blank and praying. Uh, not, not really, not really want that as combination. <laughs> Forgive me, God, in Jesus' name, and Amen, Amen. Um. But anyway, um, I've done some research into the Teal Mask DLC, and it would seem that the. Uh, uh, the other regions starters are not actually available in the Teal Mask DLC, so that might be an Indigo Disc thing. Um, it's just that uh, the egg that you get from Mr. Jacques can hatch into one of the Sinnoh starters. Um, on top of that, I've learned that apparently while um, HDV is uh, hunting. Huh. I think it was. Who now? Um. Um. So yeah. Anyway, while while uh, uh, HDV is hunting Fionn in the Teal Mask DLC, it's not because it's actually obtainable. Um. Um, it's, well, it, it is and it isn't, um, it's, uh, by breeding, so, just, you know, transferred in a Fion or a Manaphy or whatever, and I guess he's been, um, I guess he's been breeding for a shiny Fion. Um, let's see, what else? What else have I learned? Oh yeah, I, I did get some spoilers for like the the Kitakami Ogre Clan, um, but that's a relatively minor thing. I was basically just like looking um, at the Bulbapedia page for for the DLC to see if there was anything else I hadn't done yet, and it really does just seem to be. Oh yeah, I also got spoiled on the, uh, the reward for completing the Kitakami Pokedex. Um, which seems alright, but it's no, it's no shiny charm. What's, what is it called again, anyway? It's like glisten, glistening charm, or some... Some, it's it's some it's some sort of new charm that they've added, um, like how in uh, uh, Sword and Shield's DLCs you had the uh, like the what was it the Mark charm or something like that and the EXP charm and you know 
we already had the 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 oval charm and the and the shiny charm um, like more or less since Gen Five. I know I know at the very least um, um, Legends Arceus didn't have the uh, oh excuse me the oval charm. And actually, come to think of it, probably uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee didn't have it either because none of those three games have uh, breeding as a mechanic. Oh. Praise God, landed a slam. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. Come on and slam. If you want a jam. Um. Yeah, I need I need to stop just wandering aimlessly. Okay, so I still need to catch what is, uh, Monkey Dory and Pheasantipity, I think. Um, I st and on top or er, coinciding with that, I still need to finish actually both games Pokédexes. What else, am I, what else am I missing from 94, 95, or 93, 94, 95, 96? So, yeah, I'm missing the, uh, the Treasures of Ruin, at, wait, and Slowking, and Palafin, that's right. And then, yeah, we've, we've been over that before. Habitat unknown. Okay. Lives up about the same ish region I need to go to get Pheasantipity. So I could just take out two Pheasantipities with one stone. I honestly thought that footstep sound was like part of the music, but nope, it was footsteps. I actually just uh, earlier got done watching twice uh, John Stone's. Um, video where uh, he uh, he he gave only shiny pokemon to the uh, to the quest npcs in legends arceus and that and that only kind of reinforced how much um having uh the legends arceus like shiny sound would actually not be a good thing in in this game because it's like uh, it, it's it's like uh, almost the same thing as like encountering a shiny in a space-time distortion in Legends, and then uh, the space-time distortion closes before you can actually like catch it or battle it. That it'd be the same thing. You're just like flying over and. And you just hear, um, or what you know, whatever the the shiny sparkle sound is. I have almost like a, a whole box of shiny Pokemon in Legends, so you'd you'd think I know what the what the shiny sound sounds like. Apparently not. Oh well. Um, but yeah, it's it's like you just be flying overhead and you just hear, and and by the time it registered, you would be out of render distance, and the shiny would be gone, and it'd just be, 
How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Although some indicator of when a Pokemon is shiny, uh, like just in the overworld, <laughs> um, like in addition to it being, oh, there you are. <laughs> a different color would be useful. Because, like, some Pokemon don't really change all that much in their shiny forms. Um, and then some, like those Tynamo I just passed by, are very small. Yippee pippee! Alright. I actually, if you if you missed uh, any of the past episodes, I actually caught um, uh, Okie Doggy in a single quick ball. Looks like Fezendipity is going to try and fight me a little bit harder. Wait, what what typing is it? It's poison and fairy. Oh, right, and Ivy Cudgel is water. Duh. So. Okay. Oh, that's not Wait, I just realized does do Ochre Pond's masks already have the uh the terrestal symbol in them when it's not terrestrialized? Oh well, can't tell. Um, let's try... Uh, don't knock it out. Forgive me God in Jesus' name and amen. Amen. Okay. Be right back. Okay. Reloaded. Probably you should have grabbed him on with with false swipe. Yip, 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 yeah, yeah. Okrapon's cry sounds like like I don't know some sort of Gen two or Gen three bug type or something. Okay. Maybe I should just go for low kicks and just knock it out that way. Or not knock it out, catch it. Let's see. Sorry, I was looking for my camera's charger. I was looking for my camera's charger and then a bunch of stuff fell over. Yeah. Recording. That was me. My stuff fell. Alright, Mama. Love. Okay, you know what? Slam. Come on it. BRB. 
Okay, I'm back again. All right, now. Could use you. Or don't I? I think I have a ninja ask. Uh, well, wait, is, nin is Ninjask not even in this game? I didn't even realize. Okay. save and we are actually getting uh, close to wrap up time so gonna have to keep that in mind just still straightening my clothes <laughs> getting ready for battle it's like oh let me tuck in my shirt so I also during that second attempt I forgot to throw a, a quick ball Boom. Well, okay. Interesting strategy when you're on a team of one, but. God. You're trying. I'm already confused. What are you doing? Congrats, you played yourself. Let's see. It's poison and fairy type, so I don't think I have anything for that. We are getting, uh, we're about at wrap up time. Pray, praise God. So, two verses Isaiah chapter 42, verse 4, and uh, Isaiah chapter 42, verse 13. He shall not fail nor be dis wait. He shall not fail nor be discouraged till he have set judgment in the earth, and the isles shall wait for his law. And then verse thirteen is The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man, he shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. Amen. So anyway. Huh. Um. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave your com or leave your paw prints all over the like and subscribe buttons. Um, feel free to leave me a comment if there's anything you want to talk to me about. Um, any questions you want to ask me, just want to talk, just, or just want to start a conversation. Um, and, per and especially if there's anything I can pray for you about, just let me know. Um, and remember to keep it kind, keep it moral, and keep it nice, both in my comment section 
and in everyone's comments sections and chats and everything, and just everywhere in life in general, in Jesus' name. Um, and I will, of course, pray for you. And don't, uh, don't let um, overthinking keep you from asking for prayer when you need it. <clears throat> and help me to follow this same advice, God, if it be your will. And those good prayers from earlier in the episode, I repeat in Jesus' name and amen. Amen. Peace out, Wolfpack.